Friends, family, and teammates gather this afternoon to say goodbye to Jovan Belcher. The Chiefs postponed their practice so players and staff could attend a memorial service. Naja Sherman is live at Landmark Ministries where services were held. Naja. Good evening, Elizabeth. The funeral was closed to the public, but we have learned that General Manager Scott Pioli spoke at the funeral, as well as one of Javon Belcher's uncles. We were here as the four charter buses filled with Chiefs players arrived about 1.30 this afternoon. Head coach Romeo Cronell was the first person to get off the bus, where he was greeted by another man before walking into the service through the back door. Then General Manager Scott Pioli arrived. He got off the bus and walked Walked into the service, followed by several Chiefs players. Then the Hunts arrived in a black SUV. That service lasted for about an hour. And following the service, we watched as Paul Bearers escorted the casket carrying Javon Belcher's body into the hearse. The Chiefs altered their practice schedule for today's service. We've also learned that members of the team will be at Cassandra Perkins's funeral. We've learned her funeral is set for Thursday in her home state of Texas. Reporting live, Naja Sherman, 41 Action News. All right, well, as Naja said, a funeral service is scheduled for Cassandra Perkins tomorrow. That's in the Dallas area. Perkins grew up in Texas, and both of her parents still live in the state. The service starts at 1 p.m. at Ridgeview Family Fellowship Church in Blue Ridge, Texas.